morning, good morning, guys. Yeah, it is a good morning. We're just walking around, making sure everything is looking good. Yeah. Especially making sure that the seal is on. Lights are all working and all of that good stuff. As you can see, it's early in the morning. It's actually uh, 5.30 something there in the morning yeah as you can see the lights are all working that's what it looks like my seal is still intact yeah we got a wire seal and a bolt seal on here license plate light is working everything is looking good yeah look at that everything seems to be in real good shape and as you guys can see there's actually plenty of parking left here in this petrol this patrol never really even got full over here. Yeah, see, he was just checking to see if his trailer is still attached properly. But yeah, everything is uh, looking good. From what I can tell, all the lights up there, everything seems to be good. So uh, let's go ahead and hit the road, guys. Come and join me on my tri uh, trip today. Here we go, guys. Now the sun has come up. Uh, quite a bit ago already <laughs> yeah I just been giving her hair I haven't really videotaped here anything for a little bit but yeah we already got about three and a half hours behind us already so I uh, figured you know what it's time to turn on the camera show you guys a little bit on what we are up to and what we see and whatever hopefully we can entertain you guys today that's the plan anyways, we got 86 miles to Buffalo. Yep. <clears throat> I think here pretty soon it's going to be time to making a pit stop. That's what I'm thinking, making a pit stop, having me my half an hour off. Probably go in the bag, make me a sandwich. Since I did get me all kinds of goodies there to uh, be able to eat in the truck, we're going to be doing a lot more of that. Oh, we got a smoky bear up here. Oh well, we're doing speed limit, so we don't have to worry about him, right? At least that's what my philosophy is. If we are doing the right thing, we don't have to worry about him. That's the way it usually works, right? <laughs> that's what they say, right? Yeah! Looks like they've had a little bit of construction here in the last little while. They still have some of these cones or whatever you want to call them orange striped things there and it looks like they pour some new asphalt down here I know they've been working on this stretch for a long time already though but yeah we are now in Pennsylvania that's right we got a long way to go yet but yeah, at least we're making the best of it we started early this morning and and the hopes that we'll get some good miles in today so we don't have to stop too late in the day. So that's awesome. Hopefully that will work out for us. Hopefully we'll be able to get us a parking spot somewhere down the road. But as of right now, we're just gonna go ahead and continue cruising along here. And I'll probably go up to some rest area down the road somewhere and probably pull in over there and have me my half an hour break it's not like I got a ticket right now I mean I can drive eight hours before I have to take it I just wouldn't uh, wouldn't mind I would prefer to just do it already I'm starting to get a little hungry and all that good stuff so wouldn't actually mind stopping right now and get that done with that Sun is super bright but uh yeah, we decided to stop over here at the uh, TA in Harbor Creek. Yeah, so we're gonna go inside, use the restroom and all that good stuff. But I figured, ah, I'll show you guys a little bit. Beautiful truck stop up here. I've been here before. I actually met up somebody here once. I actually do. But yeah, let's go inside and take care of business. Yes, it's time to get out of here, guys. What do you guys think? Here we go. Let's get out of here. We've had our half an hour break. Had a bite to eat. All that good stuff. 
And we gotta go all the way around here and come back to the same area we were in. <laughs> That's because of the way the parking is up here, so. But yeah, a nice big truck stop up here. I mean, this is about the only truck stop that is actually in this area too, so. I guess they kind of do need lots of parking up here, but yeah, look at that, eh? Oh, there's somebody trying to back out of there, so we'll try and uh, not be in his way. Oh yeah, we gotta go back that way, and we gotta come out on the other end there, so some of you guys were asking for a uh, little bit showing of, uh, of a truck stop or more trucks, so here we are. Showing you guys a little bit of a truck stop, what it looks like. Yeah, that's right. So let's get back on the interstate and let's get on the big road and hammer down, right? That's what I say. They even got a handicap lane right over there to the road to the right. So for those uh, that have a handicap uh, sign can actually park right there. I don't know how you can be a handicap and be a flat bike driver though. That's something I don't get. Because you got to tarp that load and strap and everything. I don't know how you could be a handicap driver but <laughs> maybe he ain't. Maybe he just decided to park there, right? They even do have a shop right here. All that good stuff. So. You can get your tire fixed if you need to, or get your load scaled right there by the CAD scale. All that good stuff. That's right. There we go. So let's get out of this parking lot. And let's see if we can get her back onto the interstate and get the rest of our miles in for today, right? That's the plan anyways, right? Get some good miles in and enjoy the nice sunshine that we still have as we know it's not going to be like that in a few days because uh, yesterday it was raining like crazy up there in Manitoba and in a quarter of a mile. supposedly the it's still the cloudy up, up there so so yeah, we're gonna get that here in a little bit. Trump, our only hope, make America great again. That's what the sign says up there. <laughs> yeah, oh well. In 700 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-90 East. I don't really get into politics too much, but uh, everybody's got their own opinion and they got the right to their own opinion too, right? But, I kind of like Trump, a lot of you guys probably disagree with me, but I think he would be good for the country, but then again, it's your country, I guess, and uh, you guys got to choose the one that you guys want to choose, I guess, and you guys do have that right, you can choose whomever you want, so it's no need of arguing who's better or who's worse or whatever. You choose the one that you think is the greatest for your country and we'll see what happens, I guess. I guess hope for the best. <laughs> Continue on this road but anyways, I won't get into that too much. Because you just start a war when we do that. Or if we do that. But yeah, here we are back on the interstate. Hammer down. Let's get on down the road. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I suspected we was going to get an accident up here. Yeah, it's holiday long weekend, man, you know. It's the time to get an accident <laughs> when it's holiday weekend, you know. I suspected that. Somebody had a fender bander up here. Looks like a big truck involved. We're just on the east side of Buffalo. Yep. Looks like somebody hit the guardrail up here or something. Wow, look at that, that four-wheeler there, he got beat up pretty good. 
Yeah, well, that happens. You know, right here. Look at this wind that got rear-ended up here. Wow. That's not good. Hopefully everybody is all right. But anyways, we've been sitting in here probably for about half an hour in this traffic up here, so we're finally through it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we've been cruising here for a good, decent time already. We uh, haven't stopped since we stopped there earlier at the TA, so it's been a few hours. So uh, I think here about half an hour or so, we'll probably uh, call our quits for today, but yeah. All right, now we're in a little bit of a hilly area up here in uh, New York State. Yeah, we are right now on I-90 eastbound and down. Just coming off of a mountain, I guess, or a hill. Whichever way you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, I just figured, you know, since we're going to be calling our quits here pretty soon, I figured uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get at least one more clip in for you guys so you can see a little bit what we are seeing outside. and. Hopefully you guys find it beautiful too. I like it, you know, like beautiful mountains like this. It's actually gorgeous to my eyes, so I figured why not, you know? But I sure have seen a lot of cops out here today. And I kind of figured I would, and the reason being is because uh, it's a long weekend, right? So everybody's gonna wanna speed and get home quicker, right? They're gonna get caught today. That's a fact. But anyways, we're just going to get out of here. And we'll see you guys at the truck stop probably. Guys, look at this. This is that same bridge I showed you guys not too long ago when I was on my way to Boston. But hey, I figured I'd show it again. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I just like this bridge for some odd reason. That beautiful bridge down here, you know. Pretty high too. You see a little bit of a river down beneath there. I think this was under construction already last time I come through here and I showed you guys we were in a construction going through this bridge here but yeah hey, oh, there's a boater down there he's probably going fishing or coming back from fishing or something like that but yeah it looks like they're fixing up this bridge up here that's for sure but anyways we just figured I'd show you a little bit of this bridge up here again and yeah so what we, can, we actually ended up deciding to uh, continue a little bit further. I looked in my GPS and uh, about another hour down the road, there's a nice truck stop down there. So I figured, yeah, you know what, let's go down there. The sun is still pretty high up there. And so I figured, you know what, let's go down there. And at least I'll have an uh, hour less to do tomorrow, right? So I can actually sleep in tomorrow a little bit if I want. So, but yeah, anyways. We're out of here. Look at this guys. We are done for today. Look at that. There's even another Penner truck over there. I did see that trailer number and one of the rest areas there yesterday. So I kind of figured they were going this direction as well. And I did see another Penner out there too. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I see them out there tomorrow as well. They're probably going to the same place as me. But yeah, it's a uh, brand new loves here to uh, my eyes anyways. I don't remember ever seeing the loves down here. There is a little tiny truck stop across the street there, but nothing as big as this. This is a fairly big truck stop. Looks like all brand new pavement and all new stripes and everything. My GPS doesn't show the loves in here, but I have an app that I use and that one actually shows it. But uh, yeah, we are done for today. So we're, uh, I just figured I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and i'm gonna go ahead and get busy editing my videos and uh probably cook me some dinner for tonight but probably not going to show you too much of that i know you guys seen me cooking the stew before so i don't know if i'm going to show you that or not but anyways if you guys haven't checked out my website i would recommend you guys go down in the description below and click on show more and you'll see my link right there in the, in the description box and go check out my website I do update uh, my website there on where we're heading and stuff like that. I actually put a map. I tell you from what city to what city we're heading and all those good things. I do have description on uh, in the description box. I do have information in there about my truck. I have information about what kind of cameras I use and all that good stuff. 
So I recommend you guys uh, that are always asking me to uh, tell you what kind of camera we use and all that good stuff, go down there and check it out. You know, I always get these questions, so go ahead and check it out. Check out my website, we appreciate that very much. And with that being said, have a good one everybody, and we will catch you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy, signing out. behind me that day is gonna come